guys so this product this new oracle product is not a deck that i've been working on for quite a few months now it's finally ready to launch so today i'm going to be talking about this and if you look at the little label here it says the walk recall so if you guys are familiar with our family heirloom tarot deck you would know that one of the suits is actually a wok which is a Chinese cooking utensil more on that later and I actually have a mini version to show you because it is included in your actual kit so without further ado let's just open it up so first of all like the packaging let's just give like another 10 seconds for it so it's gonna be in this brown box which actually all the decks are shipped in but it looks extra retro and on theme with the little label so i'm gonna open it up now and when you open it up ta -da, this is what you are greeted with so on top you will get a walk recall little how to so right here so it shows the how-to of like you unbox it, then you unload it, you stir fry, you dish it up, you do your reading, and then you store the little charms. So I'm gonna just put it here. If you wanna look at a little picture instructions, you can pause it right here. But I will be showing every single step in this video as well. And then the little fun fact in the middle right there. That says a Chinese wok is a cooking utensil that dates back to the Han Dynasty over 2,000 years ago. Its dome shape allows heat to be distributed evenly, hence speeding up the cook time. So that's what a wok is. Okay, so I'm just going to put this right here. Inside the little box here are all the little fun goodies that you are going to receive beyond the little peanuts of course so I mean when you get it it might look a little bit different in placement but these are all the things that was, it's gonna come with the very first thing is bubble wrapped it's your little stove top so it says the water record right here again and it's like a little brick stove and the thing is ta-da it has an on off switch right here so there's a little pull tab so you just pull this off the batteries are already in and then you can just turn it on and off so this is a brand new one so i'm not going to pull the tab out but i have one right here that's my own there we go and this is what it looks like with the light on Ta -da! so it's like a very warm orange light that flickers so it's like a fire So that is the stand that you can put your little walk on for your readings. I just put it right there. And then you are going to receive the most important thing, a bag of charms for your oracle. So we'll look into this more in just a little bit, but here are all the charms. How many are there? I can't quite remember if there's 70 or 80 in here. But there are no repeats as well, so let's take a look at that later. You get a little basket. So it might be a square one or a round one. These are the ones like we use at home for like vegetables and stuff. So this is the little basket that you will need for your reading. And then the most important and the coolest little thing in here. It's protected. You get a little, like, legit walk with a little spatula. How cool is this? This is, like, actually one of the um, TikTok viral things where the little kids cook in. So this is an actual thing that you can actually cook in. I'm not sure if it's iron, but this is definitely metal. And you can really cook with these. So, yeah. Let me just clear this out. And let's have a look. So the instructions, the very first step was to unbox, which you have done. 
the next step is to unload after you put the things together so you just put the walk on top right here if you want the little light to be on you can do so and you can kind of see it from the side look how fun I'm going to just turn mine off and then you're going to unload the little charms in here too. I might change the final packaging of how these come but right now they're in a little bag So you can unload all of these into your little wok and they fit really nicely so they are not like overflowing or anything. So I'll put some clips of the zoomed in version right now so that you guys can take a look. So there are some emotion ones, there are some like just more random little thing ones like band-aids and with every single one of like our oracles and tarot decks, it's really very like read based on your intuition. This is a ghost so you can read it as like something paranormal, someone ghosting you, something being invincible, there's an invisible force. This is a love letter. You can read it as an email or a handwritten letter. This is a baby. You can read it either literally as like having a baby, being pregnant, or fertility, or just a new start. Anything. And with some of these, like with the heart, there is an inverse. So you have. A broken heart and with the full battery you have the one that's running out of battery can't quite find it right now okay there it is so you have both of them so that's kind of like more fair we also have the little ones that represent the seasons one the last one I can't quite find there's also the Christmas tree one so I mean you can also interpret them differently right like this does not have to just represent winter it can mean someone's pretty cold to you someone who is really fun and sunshiny and loves the beach based on like different ones that come out together as well so yeah Okay, so now it's we are up to step three, which is to stir fry, and this is where you use your little spatula thing. So this is also metal, and this is a wood right here. So this is kind of like how you shuffle the deck. It's gonna get a little bit loud, so beware. So if they drop out, which they probably will you can choose to either like take them based on your intuition or continue to stir them and then step four is where you dish them up this is where this little basket comes in
for me I would take the ones that drop out at this point put them in my basket so this is how many are in my basket right now it can fill more so you can choose to like fill this up or just take whatever you have gotten step five is to read so I didn't really ask a question just now but here let's see we have a heart we have a Christmas tree we have a fall leaf we have more leaves we have a clover for luck someone who's kind of angry a band-aid a paint palette, a hundred, hundred, and a love face. This could be interpreted as somebody who really loves the outdoors and this is like basically representing every single season. Someone who has been with you maybe through all the seasons or someone who wants to spend a long time with you. You may feel lucky that you've met this person that you're completely in love with, you're completely 100 in with them they might be someone who has been hurt a little and they might have some like anger issues there but overall they're a really fun person and you clearly like them a lot and with this paint palette it might be someone who is creative it can also be interpreted as someone who is academically you know inclined and also creatively inclined so a balance of both worlds so it really can be read based on what question you're asking. Ask the question before you do the dishing. So yeah. We have some like more religious symbols in here as well, like the cross or some of his faithful. Poker cards for a game. However you interpret it. And you can even like interpret the three of hearts in there. Um, in like tarot as well. So you have horseshoe for luck. Converse to the sunny day, you have rainy day. So yeah, and with the key, there is a lock. So yes. So now we are up to the last step, which is to store. So this is one way you can store this. So this has a cavity in here, so you can actually just pour some of them in here. Oop. Make a mess. Part of it. Dropped on Mayday. All that. It does overflow just a little. You can use your basket to cover it up this way or you can just use your walk up turn it and cover it up this way or you can do both so that you store your basket as well and then you can just put it to a side like that and you can easily store this entire deck or you can just use this as a decoration on your desk it's gonna look very cute this way the basket kind of fits in here if you get the circle and so you can just store it this way and when you need to use it it's right within reach so yeah thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoy it the link to get this walk recall and all our other decks are down below so yeah see you guys next time